Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kodiak here. We are starting a new series of videos called the Top 10. I love Top 10 videos, so I figured why not start a series about Top 10 things in World of Warcraft. Um, you may see some new faces to this. You may see some other Raiders from Exile Power starting the Top 10 videos. But uh, for now, I'm going to give you guys the first one. It is Top 10, my Top 10 rules for raid leading. Um, disclaimer, I am not a world first raid leader i am not a champion player i am not a master of my class i am just a guy um, that runs a two-day guild with my friends um, we are at this point 13 of 13 mythic in hfc so i'd like to think that i have a little bit of experience raid leading and, and being part of a, a pretty solid team and uh yeah so here are my top 10 number 10 lead by example people will notice now this one is really really uh it really hits me at home because I believe that true leadership starts at the top and works its way down. Um, people will only respond to you if you're leading the charge, right? If you say everybody needs to bring 125 food flask up every single pull of every attempt, you need to make sure that you're doing those things. If you say, hey, range, switch to the ads and you're playing a range class, I, I'm a hunter, I'm hitting ads. I'm not sitting there on the boss just trying to pad my numbers. At the end of the day, it's how people perceive you as a raid leader. Will they follow you into battle? I know that sounds cliche, but it's true. People will notice that you're taking charge of the team, um, and you don't do it in a, in a bullying type of way, but by leading by example, you say, look, I said do this, I'm doing this, I'm asking you to help out and do this as well. Um, lead by example, that's number 10. Number nine, surround yourself with good people. Now, I say people, not players, because good people usually can make you can make them into good players if they're not already um, we've had so many instances of of good people that have molded themselves into good raiders that it has really helped our team and sometimes that the other way around doesn't really work sometimes when you have good players but they're not good people you end up having a worse time of things so when you're recruiting for your guild, when you're working with your officers to maybe bring new blood into the fold, make sure they're good people, okay? You can always work with them and try your hardest to make them good players if they're not quite up to your standards, but surround yourself with good people and the raiding experience, the guild experience, all of that will be so much better. I cannot begin to tell you um, how many times we've had to deal with good players that were bad people and made the experience of playing this game not worth it. So that's number nine. Number eight, be prepared and be prepared to adjust. So as a raid leader, you have to come to every single raid knowing as much as possible, planning for as much as possible. Um, yeah, it's extra work, but you're a raid leader. You're trying to lead a team, and that's really, really important. Um, when I'm sitting at a boss that, you know, maybe it's our first attempt, I'm going to have my plan ready to go. And I'm going to say, all right, guys, here's what I think. I'm going to lay all my cards on the table. I'm going to say, hey, guys, this is what I think is going to work. Um, we're going to try it this way. I'm open to input. But we're going to try it this way for a few pulls, and then we'll make some adjustments. So being prepared is step one. Being prepared to adjust is step two. Okay? The worst thing in the world, the worst thing in the world, is when a raid leader says, this is the way to do it, there is no other way to do it. Most of us, for 99% of us, this is going to work. When you listen to your raiders and you listen to people that you surround yourselves with, good people, you're going you're gonna to get there. But you have to be receptive to what other people are saying. You can't just go you know, full nut commando mode and say, look, it, it's my way or the highway. You're going to lose a lot of respect. And to be quite honest, you're probably not going to down bosses. So be prepared. Be prepared to adjust. Number seven, sitting people is hard. Talking to people shouldn't. Now, as a mythic guild, we have a roster of about 25 people or so. Um, we are constantly in flux. We constantly move people around, and that's part of our guild mentality. Um, we don't have the same 20 that, that roll into Mythic every single week. It's pretty close, but it's not exact. It's not an exact science. So by sitting people, we're saying, hey, we, we, don't, we don't need you this week, right? We're saying, okay, we want to bring you in for some things but not other things. And that's a really tricky situation. You're starting to deal with a lot of interpersonal skills, and that could be really tough to do. But 
talking to people shouldn't be hard. If you're prepared and you say, hey, we've got this plan, we're on a tough boss, and look, Rhett Paladins, Boomkins, Shamans, whatever it is, it's not the best class for this fight. It, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hold us back a little bit. We're going to get you in there, but for right now, the best thing you can do for the team is just, just sit on the bench. You know, We use a program called Discord. If you guys haven't checked it out, it works the same as Slack or any of the other um, you know, text programs, whatever you want to call it. And I say, hey, you know, just be on standby. Go do what you got to do. You know, if you wouldn't mind, you know, stick around, but don't, you know, don't leave the house or whatever. Whatever, however your guild does it, and just say, look, you know, if we need you, I'll, I'll let you know. And this is a really, really tough concept to grasp for a lot of raid leaders because sitting people is hard. It really is because you're essentially saying we have a, a team of 20. You're not quite on that team for tonight. And that's, that could rub people the wrong way. But you should always be willing to have that conversation with people and say, look, you know, our goal is this. Our goal is X. And right now, that needs to be accomplished with this amount of people or this class cop or, or whatever it is. Um, so be willing to talk to people, all right? Be willing to talk about your problems and, and explain why you're doing something. Um, no one likes to be left in the shadows. I was a raider for a long time, and I hated being left in the shadows. And we, you know, I do my best to make sure that my raiders know what's going on, and um, hopefully you will too. All right, number six. Loot is the core of all evil. Now, I truly believe, 110%, that... Of all the times I've picked up this game and raided, from Nax 40 all the way up to HFC, the main problems with guilds tend to be favorit favoritism and loot. So, loot is so silly. Blizzard has done a lot of changes to loot, right? There's not three pieces that drop for 40 players anymore. They've created personal loot. They've created, um, you know, master looting systems and group loot and round robin. They've created this whole thing of, system of, of systems for loot. And that's because they knew that people were going to get a little feisty over loot. Loot is great, guys. But if you're going to kill a boss week after week, day after day, whatever, you're going to get the loot. We in Exile Power use a master looting system run by a council. And people trust us. People trust us to make the right decisions. But they also can say, hey, man, why, did, why didn't you give me that piece of loot? And I will say right back to them, I'll say, this is why, X, Y, and Z. And if they have a problem with that, that's fine. They can voice their opinion. But our guild mentality is not about getting loot. It's about accomplishing goals. Accomplishing goals to kill bosses. Accomplishing goals to be a two-gay progressive guild. Um, never let loot become an issue in your guild. You will tear yourself apart trying to be like, trying to explain every little thing, trying to make everybody happy, especially with loot. It just is impossible. All right, so that's number six. Number five, when in doubt, it's probably a Boomkin's fault. Now, I say this as a, a slight inside joke to our guild in Exile Power because uh, one of our senior raiders is a Boomkin, and he's a great guy. Mahana, cheers to you. But, um, you know, Boomkins do silly things, right? And so does everybody, and that's the point. Everybody does silly things. They go into autopilot mode. They, you know forget what day of the week it is they show up late because they took a nap look we're all human here we're all human and we're all trying to log on have a good time what we're doing so when i say it's probably a boomkin's fault what i mean is everybody's human everybody makes mistakes somebody probably fat fingered a ring or fat fingered a starfall uh fat fingered barrage whatever you want to call it somebody probably messed up and as raid leaders it's our job to keep the peace and make sure, look, one, those issues don't happen, but every, they're going to happen. I do them. Every, it's going to happen every single night you raid. But at the end of the day, it's a game. We're not trying to, you know, go absolutely nuts on people. We're not trying to make this a bad experience for anybody. But, you know, people are human. So that's number five. Number four, the team comes before everything else. Now, this is one that I have adopted over the years because I truly believe that my role in the team is to make the team successful. My job for my guild is to be the best raid leader that I can be. And that means putting pretty much everything above myself, whether it be loot, whether it be um, dealing with scheduling, whether it be dealing with personal issues, whether it be dealing with inner raid issues. 
it's not my job to say, look, I, I want it this way. Now, you have to do it my way or there's going to be consequences. There's going to be problems. No, my job is to listen to my raiders and to make sure that they're all happy. And that means sometimes extra hours. Sometimes that means doing research. Sometimes that means talking with people for extended periods of time. It's all about listening to your guild and making sure that everybody in your guild is happy. Um, so put the guild before yourself. That's a really simple concept. It really is. Um, work with your officers, work with your senior raiders, work with whatever structure you have in your guild, and make it the best experience that you could possibly make it. All right, number three, always be willing to listen to reason. Now, this one's kind of funny because some people may disagree with me. I, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's a pretty straight-up rule, but when you're raid leading, you sometimes go into tunnel mode, just like a raider would. And you sometimes think, okay, we got to down this boss. we got to kill him. Tonight's the night. If we don't kill him tonight, everything's going to fall apart. Well, no, not everything's going to fall apart. And sometimes that's really destructive thinking, right? We don't want everybody to think that if we don't kill a boss, the raid's going to fall apart, the guild's going to fall apart. No, you have to be able to listen to your officers, listen to your guild. At the end of the day, the day communication is key. So when something is not going right, when something um, needs to be adjusted, you, you have to listen to your team and say, look guys, I'm open to ideas. What's going to get us through this? What's going to make this work? Um, I can't tell you guys the number of times I've had a strategy and it all worked on paper, but then when we got there, it fell apart. And that's not because it was a bad strategy per se, but because our guild needed to do it a different way. And that's fine. Guys, that's fine. As a raid leader, you need to be open and be willing to listen to the players that you surround yourselves with, the good people you surround yourselves with. Um, so that one's pretty straight up. Number two, be fair and be just. This kind of ties into a lot of the other ones we've been talking about, but at the end of the day, you want to be open to listening to your raiders, right? We want to be talking to our raiders. And sometimes that means making hard decisions, whether it be about um, your roster, or about dealing with an issue, or about personality conflicts, and you need to be an impartial judge. As always, the guild comes before everything else. The raid team comes before all else. So if there's a player that thinks he's God's gift to raiding, you need to, be, you need to step in and say, look man, this attitude is destructive. It's hurting the team. Okay? If you want to be an elitist, if you want to be a, a, a top, top tier raider, Go somewhere else because our guild is not about that. Our guild is not about putting people down. Our guild is not about, um, you know, it's not about speed kills or whatever the heck your guild is doing. You know, you have to be, you have to be aware of your guild's mission, right? So be fair and be just. Listen to your raiders. Surround yourself with good people. These all sound like pretty standard things, right? Number one, know your guild. Above all else, you need to know the guild you're in, the people you surround yourselves at, surround yourself with, and the mission of your guild, the goals of your guild. Why are we doing the things we're doing, right? Whenever you go into a raid, you should have a target. You should have a mission and a goal. If my target is to kill Mythic Manoroth and kill Mythic Archimonde every week until Legion drops, that is my target, that is my goal, and I will do everything in my power to get to that goal. But you have to know what your guild wants. You have to know what the raiders in your guild want. And you have to be willing to adapt and adjust, right? If you're in a normal guild and the goal is to kill, you know, normal Archimond by before the pre-patch, before Legion drops, you need to be willing to make sacrifices, listen to the raiders around you, and do everything you can to get to that point. Okay? If you're a normal guild and you just want to be kind of casual, you can't, as a raid leader, be super hardcore on everybody, right? That is a different mentality. That's a different mindset. And that's going to get a lot of people mad at you. Okay? So you have to know your guild. Especially the people that are helping you run the guild. Okay? You have to be on the same, team, same page with your officers, with your senior raiders. Um, you have to establish that clear communication as to, you know, what's going to make your, your team successful. Um, so that's it, guys. Know your guild. Be fair. Be just. Always be willing to listen to reason. The team comes before everything else. When in doubt, it's probably a Boomkin's fault. Loot is the core evil, core of all evil. 
Sitting people is hard. Taking, <laughs> talking to them shouldn't be. Be prepared. Be prepared to adjust. Surround yourself with good people. Lead by example. People will notice. That is my top 10 for raid leading. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and check us out at exilepower.com. This is Kodiak. See you next time.